Gemaran Masechet Makot says as follows. Amru Hazal, Chachamim told us, Harehu Omer, the Torah says as follows. Listen to this pasuk in the Torah. Rak Hazak Levilti Achol Hadam. Meaning, a person should be very strong and diligent to make sure to not eat blood. Ki hadam hu hanefesh. Because blood is the soul, the very being of a creature, and it's inappropriate to eat the blood of an animal. So now, the Gemara does something very, very fascinating. It says, if a person does not have any desire to eat or drink blood, and by abstaining from doing so, they get merit. Imagine how much more merit a person gets when they abstain from something where there is a big desire to do, such as stealing and arayot, anything that has to do with prohibited relations. And apropos to our topic, to guard one's eyes. So if a person gets merit for not drinking blood, all the more merit they're going to get when they overcome the temptation and the desire to look at women who are not dressed properly. Now, even, the Gemara says... Even dressed properly. Even dressed properly. Hazak, Hazak. Anything. Yes, you're right. You're right. And the Gemara says something very amazing. It says, She's kelo. Not only is he going to have merit... Ul Dorotav, Ul Dorot Dorotav. Ad Sof Kol Dorot, the Gemara says. So what the Gemara is telling us, and the way Chachamim explains this is, is, is amazing. It says as follows. When a person comes now, and they have the test. Everything in life is a test. Are we going to do the right thing? Are we going to do the wrong thing? Right now, we are in a place, whether we put ourselves there, or the inappropriate viewing came to us. It could be in person, it could be on our telephone. When we are now there at a crossroad, what am I going to do? Am I going to give in to the temptation? Or am I going to overcome it? Chachamim tell us a person has to imagine that his own children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and every other generation are there waiting, like, on bleachers. What's Abba going to do? What's Saba going to do? Now that's a responsibility. What's Sabaraba Rabba is going to do? So Chachamim tell us, you have to imagine, picture that scene in your mind. That imagine you are on stage, dark room, and the spotlight is on you. To do or not to do. Now here's the next step. So that's very nice. That's for our own encouragement. Listen to the next thing. Rabbi Yuda Hasid says in Sefer Hasidim, that if we overcome that temptation, we are now giving the merit and power for when our descendants are going to be in a similar situation to overcome it also. Thank you for listening.